Track 1 Bridge Appraisal Brown Preview Broad Princess Brick Priority Bring Prior Brownie Proof Bravery Preserve Brochure Brass Bravo Preposition Brain Prepare Track 2 1. Bribe 2. Bray 3. Bronze 4. Brother 5. Prepare 6. Press 7. Brick 8. Bring 9. Brave 10. Prepare Track 3 My name is Tuon. In my free time, I really like surfing the internet. When I get home from work, I turn on my computer, wait until it boots up completely, and then I go online. I still have a dial-up connection, but I'm switching to a broadband internet service soon. It costs more a month, but web pages load faster and with a high-speed connection, I can upload and download files quicker. I usually check my email first and write a few messages to family and friends. I sometimes scan the local news headlines at my favorite news websites and read up on the latest local and international news. This website often provides video news clips that you can view online. I sometimes order products or services online to save money and time instead of going to a store and buying what I'm looking for. For example, I ordered a digital camera online the other day and saved about $50. Whatever I do, I realize that there are problems with using the Internet, including scams, identity theft, and viruses, so I'm very careful not to give out my personal information. Furthermore, I don't download or open files I don't recognize. Using the Internet can be fun and a convenient way of shopping and finding out new information, but you just need to be careful. Track 4 Blanket Clap Black Blender Claws Blouse Blue Clean Clear Blow Climb Bliss Clock Client Blink Bleed Cluster Blind Click Class Track 5 1. He would like some ice cream. 
too. They like blue color so much. 3. The baby is crying. 4. Doctors wear blouses when working in hospital. 5. The queen has a gold crown. 6. The car accident has blocked the road. 7. The apricot is blooming. 8. The ice all over the lake has been cracked. 9. He has a Blackberry mobile. 10. Youth crime is a serious problem today. Track 6 God made the country, and man made the town. So says the Bible. Country life is natural. Town life is artificial. In the country, we are close to nature. We are surrounded by green fields, flowers, and trees. There are streams and brooks. People are open, plain, and frank. They are generous and hospitable. They are attached to one another. They are sympathetic towards one another. They share one another's joys and sorrows. Village life is free from all restraints of society. People are simple in their habits and dress. They are illiterate and ignorant, but simple and honest. They are not cunning. In the country, one gets fresh air, fresh water, fresh fruit and vegetables. Milk, butter, and other edibles can be had in an unadulterated state. There is absolute peace and quiet. There is no traffic jam and noise. There is nothing to disturb the calm. There is no roar of machinery. Motors and carriages are seldom to be seen. There is no hustle and bustle. The people are contented because their demands are few and are easily satisfied. Country people are pious and religious. The people cherish friendly and neighborly feelings towards their fellow men and live in perfect harmony and goodwill. The young respect the old, irrespective of caste and creed. There is a social unity. In a word, country life is simpler and much more quiet and peaceful than town life, which is full of bustle, worry, and hurry. Track 7 1. What's the name of your school? 2. There are some experts from ATC Corporation coming here today. 3. My family usually goes skiing in winter. 4. Scope of use of this device is quite limited. 5. He is working as a tester. 6. She does not do any sports. 7. Before reading for details, you should skim the text to obtain its main idea. 8. There are some spines around my house. 9. Bring me that stool please. 10. In this competition, people who come the latest will win. 11. Would you like to have some sponge cake? 12. The thief had stolen some precious pictures. Track 8 The Cham The Cham who have lived along the coast of central Vietnam for a long time, possess a rich culture. Let's discover some interesting things about the Cham. Diet The Cham eat rice cooked in large and small earthen pots. It is often accompanied by fish, meat, and bulb vegetables.
which are obtained from hunting, gathering, husbandry, and agricultural production. Popular drinks are rice and can pipe wines. Beetle chewing is very important to people's daily life and traditional rituals. Clothing. Both men and women wear long one-piece sarongs or cloth wrappers. Men wear shirts fastened down the center with buttons, while women wear long-sleeved pullover blouses. The main color of their daily dress is cotton white. Nowadays, the tram dress like the Viet in other parts of central Vietnam, with long-sleeved blouses, which is only worn by elderly women. Lifestyle The majority of Cham live in Ninh Thuan and Binh Thuan. They build their houses on the ground, with the rooms being arranged according to a particular order. The sitting room, rooms for the parents, children, and married women, the kitchen and warehouse, including the granary, and the nuptial room of the youngest daughter. Marriage Cham women take the initiative in marriages. The couple lives with the wife's family, and children are named after the family name of the mother. Wedding gifts are prepared by the bride's family. Monogamy is a principle of all marriages. Track 9 Vietnamese Customs and Habits Traditional Vietnamese customs and habits have been formed time to time for thousands of years. This creates a long-lasting culture. Despite the domination of Chinese and other powers, Vietnamese people still remain their unique cultural identity. In the course of development, customs and habits are indispensable spiritual fields in Vietnamese culture. It is the original cultural values of the country strongly that define the identity and the long-lastingness of culture in Vietnam. In the entire history of Vietnam, Vietnamese culture is the combination of native culture, cultural exchange with China, Asian regional and western countries. However, with the firm native culture, Vietnamese people keep their culture away from being assimilated and Vietnamizing those cultural features instead. Vietnamese culture is characterized by a series of unique customs and habits, such as worshipping ancestors, chewing betel, and other customs in traditional ceremonies like funeral ceremonies, long life ceremonies, etc. These customs and habits are associated with communities of villages and communes. Vietnam is a country of festivals, especially in spring. There are several famous festivals featuring Vietnamese culture, like Tet Nguyen Dan, Tet Nguyen Thieu, Tet Han Thuc, Tet Doan Ngo, Mid-Autumn Festival, etc. Yet, Customs and habits of Vietnamese people vary from region to region and ethnic group to ethnic group. Track 10 Hong Festival This festival celebrates the legendary birth of Vietnam's first kings, the Hum Vuong. Details of their origin remain sketchy, but the story has become rather embellished over the years. Born from the union of a mountain princess and a sea dragon, the Hum Vuong came from a hundred sons hatched from a hundred eggs laid by said princess. Half the sons went back to the sea with their father, while the rest stayed behind with their mother and learned to rule. To remember the valiant sons of this lineage, People gather at the Hum Temple, located near Viet Tri City in Phu Tho Province, about 50 miles from Hanoi. Festival goers light incense, make offerings, 
and beat bronze drums at the temple, then join a temple fair, which includes entertainments like traditional Vietnamese operas and sword dances. This holiday is traditionally celebrated on the 10th day of the third lunar month. As of 2007, the Vietnamese government declared this to be a nationwide holiday. Track 11 1. How straight the noodles are 2. How high the building is 3. How precious the diamond is 4. What a magic wand 5. What a traditional house 6. How small the baby is 7. What a modern apartment 8. What an evil sister 9. How loud the music room is 10. What a busy day Track 12 The Ugly Duckling Once upon a time, there was a little mother duck. She was excited. Her five eggs were finally going to hatch. She watched and counted as one by one the eggs hatched. One duckling, two ducklings, three, four, five ducklings, she said happily. Suddenly she noticed that there was one more egg. It was bigger and whiter than the rest. This cannot be my egg, she thought. Slowly the big egg began to crack and the strange-looking duckling came up. Mother Duck was surprised. The younger duckling was great and bigger than the rest. How ugly the little one is, she thought. As the days went by, the ducklings began to grow, but the younger duckling looked different from the rest. Everybody looked at him and said, there goes the ugly duckling. His brother's sisters teased him all the time. The ugly duckling felt very bad. Whenever people laughed at him, he used to run away and hide behind the reeds near the lake. Nobody loves me, he thought. One day, the duckling decided to run away from home. He swam and swam and on his way he had many adventures. Track 13 Once upon a time, there was a very rich man who lived in a village. When he died, he left his two sons a huge fortune. But the two brothers were entirely different. The elder was greedy, but the younger was very kind. The elder brother gave the younger brother only a star fruit tree. When the fruit was ripe, an eagle came and ate the fruit. The younger begged the eagle not to. The eagle promised to repay him in gold. The eagle took him to the gold island. There, the younger brother filled his bag with gold. He became rich when he got home. The elder brother knew the story and offered to swap his fortune for the starfruit tree. His kind brother accepted. When the eagle came, the elder brother asked it to take him to the gold island. The greedy brother filled a very large bag and all his pockets with gold. On the way home, because the load was too heavy, the eagle got tired and dropped him into the sea.